YouTube. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Got to Change. Today we're going to talk about JD on. Y'all already know what happened. Let's start the title. In case you don't know, JD on went to a WNBA game and pretended to fall asleep, laying down with the covers. Wait, what happened? Come on, get up. You need to get up and go. Get up. Come on, set up. Is it against the law to take naps? You can't even take a nap at the WMEA games. What is this? North Korea? Bro, you can't take a courtside nap? Yo, free me! I'm a prisoner of sleep apnea. Save me! Move, move, move. You are not allowed on the premises. So I'm only being at the WMEA game? All NBA related events. So we're going to send it to the NFL and everybody else. But you are banned. Wait, the NBA is part of the NFL? No, we're gonna send it. I'm gonna send it to him. Yeah. Why, why would you send it to the NFL, sir, man? Sir. We can go. You already know what I'm gonna say. Don't treat people like they are NPCs, non-playable characters. I know you're the main. <laughs> I feel like a freaking broken record. I know you're the main character of your story, but you got to treat people with more respect. I understand this is just a WNBA game, and I understand they're, they're normally not packed out. I get that. You just want to make a joke. He did the same thing at the NBA when he was doing the haircut thing. I just don't. I get doing the pranks, and I get making money, and I get doing all this stuff for entertainment purposes. And who knows? Maybe he could still go to the WNBA games. I don't know if he got banned for real, for real. But at the same time, I just want to say, at some point, man. This is why I've never been a big fan of Prank Channel. That's why I don't know Gideon that well. I only know him because of stuff like this. I just don't understand why people, you feel like you always have to bother people. Why you always feel like you have to make a spectacle out of everything. I got, I did, the, we did the same thing with Lizzo. When Lizzo turned around and showed her booty to the whole world at an NBA game. It's the same, I have the same feeling towards that. Just like, man, can't you just have, can't people just come and watch the game and just live life without you feeling like you have to be the center of attention? It just doesn't make any sense to me. And I don't understand any YouTubers that do this kind of stuff where they go out in public and bother people or make a spectacle out of something where people are really just there to live their lives. I get making people laugh, but who's going to laugh at this? Children. Only kids care just deeply about stuff that's funny. And you're get, becoming an older man. At some point, you got to grow up. I give somewhat of a pass to kids, like teenagers, 15, 16, 17. But once you start getting into your adult age, at some point, you got to let go. You got to start changing it up. Start becoming a man. There needs to be a difference between you and a 12-year-old. Because I could see a 12-year-old doing this exact same prank, doing the exact same stuff. And it's just like, man, there needs to be a difference between you and a child. I understand laughing, but even people who are comedians don't act like this. They don't make spectacles out of stuff. And the ones that do, they get called out too. We've seen this kind of stuff. We all remember what happened with Amy Dick. When he was on the uh, roast show and he ended up, y'all yeah, I mean, remember, people called that out and said he's a weirdo. Something's wrong with the man. We need to start calling this stuff out no matter who they are. But J.D. Hunter, he won't stop because it gets him notoriety. It gets little children. It gets little 12-year-olds to be like, oh, he's so cool. He's so funny. Ha, 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 ha. Because grown men don't think this was funny. Maybe some do. Maybe immature grown men. Most men are just like, man, don't you have anything else better to do in your life? You can make content without doing this. You can make content. It's so funny because when you watch Diddy on and I've watched one interview with him that he, not an interview. I watched a live stream because he was going to do an interview with EDP. So I got to hear more of what he is like on a live stream and how serious he was and how mean he was to Sneeko. It was just kind of like, why can't you be that in your videos? Why don't you just start becoming more of a, um, uh, more of a teacher you got all the platform you got all of these things use the knowledge and the money you've gained to help people i'm not talking about give your money away that's up to him i'm talking about using the knowledge that he's gained with making money and finances and budgeting and also doing all this thing to help young men help young women to aspire to be more than this because kids look at you as a youtuber and think oh i just got to do goofy stuff Teach them that there is money in this YouTube. Teach them there is a world in this YouTube life if you use it correctly. And you can make it without just being a prank channel. You can do other stuff. But maybe that's just not who he is. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. I'm gone. Goodbye.